YouTube. So today's thing is about sight reading, and yes, I just sight read that, as evidenced by a, a couple little <laughs> little problems in there. I missed a couple notes. Um, uh, some of the directions, I didn't really play the dynamics, for instance. And I played the roadmap wrong. Um, you can't see it, but I was supposed to play DS, so Del Signo to the Fine, the Fine, but I went all the way back to the beginning, De Capo, DC. Um, so I played too much of it. Oops. Anyway, today's topic is about sight reading. And just a couple tips, nothing like, you know, comprehensive, that'll make you better at sight reading. And things that I just used to play this. Um, we'll say there's three tips today. So first tip, go ahead and look at what you're going to play real quick. You don't have to, like, go over every single note. But look at the, the major things, right? Stuff that I didn't entirely do. But you can look at the, the major stuff. So key of this... It's in D flat. It's got five flats. I know there's going to be five flats. I calibrate myself to play in D flat. Great. It's in 4-4. Four, four. Cool. There's no tempo marking on this. So before I started, I just kind of sang through um, the hardest part. And the entire thing is really triplets, so I just sang through the first couple measures um, to find a comfortable tempo. Yep. Bum, 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 bum. And I'm actually singing the pitches when I when I sing this to see if I can get the ear going as well as the, the sight, right? And so I just found a nice tempo. Um, usually there's something marked that gives you some kind of example. Uh, and I actually just ended up getting the same tempo that I got when I played it. So look at the obvious things. Key signature, time signature. Um, look over the roadmap like I just did not do. I very, I just glanced at it and like, okay, there's a something to the fine. I saw a sign maybe, and I saw a fine, but I didn't look closely enough. That's something I need to do better at. So look at the, the major things. Maybe look at uh, some dynamics and stuff. I kind of played it all just whatever because I didn't sight read it perfectly. Uh, and then tip number two is look ahead while you play. Memorize what you are playing before you play it and constantly look ahead. If you are looking at exactly what you were playing, you're, it's already too late. Think of it like riding a bicycle or driving a car or running, you know, depending on what you do, um, really fast. If you do any one of those things, say you're riding a bike and you're going 30 miles an hour down a hill, like super really fast on a bicycle, and you're just looking at the ground right in front of you, you're probably not gonna have a good time, right? You need to look as far ahead as possible. You know, still knowing what's in front of you kind of in your peripheral vision, but looking as far ahead as possible to look for obstacles, people driving out in front of you, car doors opening, whatever. Same thing when you're driving. Um, when you're driving on the freeway at 75, you're not speeding, of course. You're not looking exactly right in front of you, like right where you can see the road. You're looking as far out as possible. Um, I mean, race car drivers do this too. They're looking to the next corner, not the corner they're in, the one after that. Always the next thing, right? So you need to be looking ahead. This is something I realized myself because I practiced a bunch of sight reading over the last year. I got better at it. I'm not a perfect sight reader by any means. Um, but I realized that when I was sight reading badly, I was always looking at the notes that I was playing. And there's no way that you can sight read well um, above like a very basic and slow level um, by looking at what you're playing. You have to be looking ahead. Um, and it depends, I'm not gonna give you like, it needs to be one measure at 120. It's just some amount that you need to be looking ahead. I even caught myself in this, kind of getting stuck in the notes I was playing and I'd just push myself a little farther forward. Cause I'm like, I know how this goes. I've looked at it already. I don't need to keep looking at it. And then the third tip is, since if you're if you've never driven before for instance maybe some of you guys have never driven before and you just got in a car and someone's like all right drive 100 miles an hour um and you're like okay well now i know to look as far ahead as possible but i don't actually know how to deal with any of the issues that might come up what if someone runs out in front of me i don't even know which one's the brake pedal so the third thing is to know how to deal with what you see um so it it helps to look ahead obviously but if I weren't pretty familiar with the D flat scale, um, with my valve positions, 
um, with playing in kind of like below and in the staff, I could, you know, sight seeing this perfectly, but I wouldn't be able to play it. So you need to be able to know how to deal with what you're running into. Um, you need to have the skills, those kind of general skills to cope with whatever you see. Um, I've talked about this before in a video um, where I talked about uh, general preparation versus um, specific preparation. There's some people that can work up an audition, this is me in the past, so that everything is pristine and just like really, really good. But if you threw something new at them, they'd sight read it really badly or everything would be out of tune or whatever. It's because they prepared one thing really well but maybe not the general aspects of their instrument as well. And to sight read well, you gotta have just good general preparation. You need to have fluency in all keys, all ranges, tempos, rhythms is the big one. Um, so you have to have the skills to be able to deal with what you're looking at, right? And again, just use that analogy. If you're running really fast, um, you need to know how to like hop over something or jump out of the way. You don't just run straight into something. You have to have those skills as well. So first thing, look over the piece. Just look at the hard stuff. You know, it's it's okay to like practice something before you run through it. Second thing, look ahead while you are playing. And third thing, know how to deal with what you see when you get to it. That's all I got. Uh, see you guys next time. <laughs>